Hi guys! So today I wanted to make a video talking about my planner. Now I love my planner and the planner I have is a day designer planner and it is this Dalmatian type of print and then it has blue border around the name of it and like I said it's a day designer and it's for June 2016 through May 2017. This is the second day designer I have owned. My first one was this striped one. I actually got this one from Target. Um, and I liked it a lot. This one is a lot thinner though because the weeks were more like this. Where each day you had Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on the next page. You had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I really like this planner. So I went on their website and I ended up ordering another one. And that's when I got this one. Just so you can kind of see the thickness difference. This one's my current one. And that's my old one. Now, I really like this planner. This planner each day is its own page. So it has the calendar, the full on calendar for each month, and then it has a special planning page for each day in the month. I am gonna order a new one once this one is close to being up, which like I said, it only goes through May. Um, I'm hoping that they maybe release their newer ones they might get. I can't remember exactly when they released the one I got last year, but I pre-ordered it. Um, the new one I'm kind of interested in, though, is the palm tree version. I'll try to insert a picture. It's the palm tree one, and it's just through 2017. So, like I said, I'm hoping they release the 2017-2018 one. But I really do love the palm tree look. Maybe it's because I'm just sick of winter. One thing nice with the one I got, like I said, I did pre-order it, and I think this was a pre-order special. I did get a stack of stickers, which I've used some of them. I haven't actually used a lot of them, just because I usually end up writing so much in mine. Um, but it has, like, this one has cute arrows, and it has stickers that say, Must Remember, Margarita Time, Coffee Day, Game Day, and Trash Day. This one just has little flags and stars, which is nice to kind of make the day stand out if it's something important. And this one here has kind of the ribbon theme. These are um, like little ribbons and then it has the stars and the hearts, which I really do like the hearts. This one here has little things you can write on. And then this here has arrows and also just little things that you might put next to something if you're trying to remember it. So once you open this up, and I will show some of the pages, but some of the pages are already written on. Um, in the front of it, it does have a little folder here where you can keep your stickers or anything else you need to. One of the first things it has, it says my vision for the next 12 months, and it has a section for help yourself, everyone else, attitude and academics, resources and finance, and trade, career, and your business, and it has big idea one, two, and three. So this can kind of, this can kind of really be good for if you made any New Year's resolutions or anything you want to try to accomplish that year. There is a task ideas and to do, which I will show you. And I haven't really wrote anything on this because I feel like I kind of explained everything on the other one. But this can be really handy uh, to kind of write stuff down that you don't want to forget during the year. Uh, the next is a goal sheet, which I really like. It's like a little chart in the horizontal columns say three months six months nine months and one year and then it has vertical columns for each of those categories like help yourself everyone else attitude and academics resources and finances and trade in your career so you can kind of write out your goals and the time frame you want to accomplish it whether it's in three months six months or nine months uh, the next which I will show you is the make your goals manageable and it has where you can do 20 goals and it has the goal description, the deadline, resources you might need, obstacles, measured by, first steps, and you can mark when it's done. You can see on mine, the real only goal that I had when I was making this was finishing our front porch. We had a wall that we had knocked down last year, so the deadline was July 30th, and we actually did get that done. Side note, we did wait till July 29th to do it, but we did get it done. Uh, the next is a 12-month overview, which is nice if you need to look at months ahead. And then it starts a few note pages where you can write some stuff down. And then it starts with June, and I showed you the calendar. So this is the calendar page for June of last year. And I really like how they have them laid down. There's lots of room for you to write on each day. They have certain dates flagged. I also like how there is a note section on the side. Oftentimes that's where I list like bills that need to, pay, need to be paid. 
and other important things that need to happen that month. So here are what the planner pages look like and this is for Monday, February 13th of this year. And I like how this is laid out compared to how it used to be laid out. Uh, each page has a quote at the top, which is really nice. Um, it starts out with today's top three, which I like because you get to list the three most important things that you need to get done. It has a do section where you could write your bills or anything else. I love the dinner section in this because I write out each week what I am planning for supper and it really helps keep me on track and it helps me make my grocery list. I also like the dollar section. Um, if you need to get a certain amount or do anything and I like the don't forget and then as you can see on the side here it has uh, Today and it starts at 5 a.m. And goes through 9 p.m. And that's nice to write things in for timing But it also has a to-do list which I really like that's what I use most and then down at the bottom It has notes which is nice and handy and it has a daily gratitude for you to write something down that you are thankful for each day Then if you look over here at Tuesday, you can see I've kind of already used some of my stickers to help decorate for Valentine's Day and it has a little flag for it. All the days are pretty much the same except on the weekend. So this is what the weekend looks like Saturday and Sunday is combined and you still kind of have a to-do list but it's just three items and you have your 5 through 9, 5 a.m. through 9 p.m. Uh, scheduling. I guess because they assume on the weekend most people try to take it easy and rest and another thing I like is down here for next week you can go ahead and write things down that you don't want to forget. At the end of this planner, there is more pages where you can write a few more notes. And one thing I love with this planner is my husband got me some of the Papermate colorful pens, and I love using a different color pen for each month. I know some people even like using a different color pen for different types of tasks they're going to do. So overall, I really love this planner. I use it daily. I go look at what I need to get done every morning. And like I said, I would repurchase this. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you are considering getting a day designer planner, I recommend them. Bye!